Uh, good afternoon guys, um, just a short video today just to show and demonstrate the use of hot tweezers. Um, I should be using a, uh, an IPC out of a car, it's basically the cluster. Um, I'm just basically dismantling this particular one for spares but uh, uh, we're going to have a look at it. Uh, as we got on the moment as you can see, a lot of LEDs I want to remove and uh, being sort of plastic housed they melt very easy so you have to be rather careful with them um, what I'm going to use is uh, ah, there we go JBC tweezers so I'll show you these one let's see if we can get a better shot from the overhead the other camera hang on that's certainly clearer right so basically it's as simple as this I will show you and that's it done Simple as that. We'll take a slightly larger one. Again, just like that. Um, and they will take fairly heavy components off. That's not the smallest set. That's um, uh, that'd be the AM120A which is about the middle size uh, JVC do um, then we have the Nano which is that pair um, as you can see a fairly bit smaller and then we have the Big Daddy and, uh, and this one is a fairly big old tool again just for the heavier components as I say I don't do just uh, playstations and stuff I do uh, quite a lot of commercial gear and some gear I do is very quite hush hush <laughs> but anyway back to what we got in hand so yeah take a couple more off as I say these um, you can actually uh, use a foot pedal with them to switch them as well um, you can rotate the tips to align them uh, I don't know if that's going to focus at this distance, probably not. Uh, where are we? Come on camera. As you can see, the tips, you can adjust them up and down laterally that way. Uh, using the fingers. So the tips will move sort of that way. <laughs> I can't even do it cack handed. Uh, and also you can rotate them. And as I say, they just pull out. Uh, they quick change tips. Um, they do quite a variety. Uh, so look, ah, there's the. I don't know how well these are going to come out on here. I'm going to have to have a little bit of a play with that camera. It's um, let me go to the other one for a second and see how we got. Um, I'm not even sure which camera I'm on. Oh, it's that one. Let's see if we can get it to focus on there. Pretty much a straight tip, that one, though. Um, now let's grab the other one. There we go. That's the tweezer tip that I'm using. It's fairly small. It's a job to get these cameras to focus sometimes. There we go. Um, and then for the larger iron, I can go up to this sort of size tip. Uh, it's handy for removing, uh, well, whatever you can get the heat across, basically. And then a couple of new tips that come in this week. Uh, ideal for cleaning up BGA bases. Um, that's these. Uh, one good and you clean the whole base that's quite good all right let's sit them back over there um oh and the other one i was going to show you uh is the, the solder exasperator they use or what uh, jvc do unfortunately <laughs> i've removed all the parts i can show you on uh, on here though ah this is the device um the air pump is separate it's a vacuum pump um, you have different size nozzles here 
with different size apertures um, which is pretty good so it's literally a case of sitting on pump and solder's gone for the moment um, probably you won't see them too well let's have a look yeah you can see those four there it's taken the solder off just about and let's see if I can the trouble is the camera's not focusing very well come on camera the light yeah you can see it but um yeah as i say i've just done one as i say uh, removed the uh, 30 i think it's 32 or 34 pins so look uh, i think it's 34 pins throw a plated through board as i say yeah makes a quick job of it all right guys that's it i'll um leave it there as i say Hopefully we might get some repairs done this week, but uh, unfortunately I plan a band as well. I've got band practice this week, so I'm afraid it's going to be uh, a bit of a short week. <laughs> Thanks a lot, and uh, see you again soon.